Hey everyone, in this project you're going to be building a skyscraper and as you know you're engineers in the booming town of Sticksville. So here's the deal behind this activity. Due to our beautiful city and vibrant economy, a large company wants to move their headquarters to town. They want you to design for them a slick looking building that is at least 30 inches tall so they can fit all their employees, but it also must fit within the 12 inch square of land that they bought. Think you're up for the task? Design and build a skyscraper that they will be excited for. But before they send in their employees, they want you to test the strength and stability of your tower by seeing if it will hold the weight of a golf ball. And before we get too far into this project, here's a little bit of history on towers. They've been around for forever, since the ancient Egyptians, but it wasn't until the late 1800s or early 1900s when they really started to show significant improvements. See, advancements and innovations in engineering allowed these towers to become taller and taller, but skinnier and skinnier, which is an effective combination. One of these improvements was called the Bessemer process, which allowed manufacturers to mass produce steel beams. Another was the research being put into how to arrange these beams around the buildings. And maybe most importantly, the invention of the elevator and lighting made larger spaces and higher buildings more accessible. And now we have buildings like the Burj Khalifa in Dubai and the One World Trade Center in New York City, which seem to defy the laws of physics, but they serve as beautiful tourist attractions, skyscrapers, museums, and much more for their respective cities. So we just hinted at a couple, but can you quickly pause this video and think of some other uses that people, cities, and governments may use skyscrapers for? A couple we thought of were for businesses or office space, for living, like in an apartment or a condominium, or even putting a restaurant in the building, but I'm sure you came up with a great list that could have some more options. And friends, why should you care about this project? Well, we are around towers and tall buildings every single day, and we've already showed you how towers have continued to progress and get taller and more advanced over time. Well, that's gonna continue to happen, and you all are gonna be the future architects, designers, and engineers who are gonna make that happen. Everything that goes into helping make sure a building functions, like sewage, electricity, and air conditioning, can be harmful to the environment. There's a big push on making buildings more eco-friendly, which is a great thing. By the time you're all done with this project, we hope you're familiar with the background of towers and how they work. We hope you have a blast building one for yourself, and you're even going to get a chance to hear from a professional in the field. So we will see you in the next video, where we're going to share some of the science behind towers with you, so you can build an attractive building for the company coming to Sticksville.